Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC. Oh, and I got something special to share with you, all right? So over the last eight years, we've been on a mission to make manufacturing great again. We need to be proud of our country. We need to be proud of our kids. And we need to be proud of our industry. Check out this short video that illustrates the impact that Titans of CNC Academy is making every day. And when the video finishes, I will share a message that is important no matter where you live, no matter your race, your religion, your political party, this message needs to be important to you. That's our kids, that's our community, that's manufacturing. I'm incredibly proud of, of my team. I'm incredibly proud of our sponsors, of just everyone that, that has come together to allow us to, to give free curriculum to everyone. People look at manufacturing and, and I always hear like, oh, it's not the dirty, old, grimy, you know, shops of yesterday, you know? Today, it's like a doctor's office. And there's a lot of truth to that. But in reality, I don't think that people on their couches are really grasping that, you know, because we have an awareness problem. We don't see advanced manufacturing on television. We don't see rockets being built and, and just the inner workings, the engineering that's going on right in our own backyard, you know, popping rockets up to the space station like on a weekly basis, you know. We might see it on the news, but it's hard to comprehend that all of those parts and all those components are actually being built right here in our own country. And another thing I'll say is, you know, it's not just our country. You know, I'm proud that the Titans of CNC Academy curriculum is now in 170 different countries. Like, I'm proud of that, you know, because no matter where you are, manufacturing has to be important to you. Just looking at the United States, I look at our, our veterans coming home, you know, and while they're coming home, 
were basically selling out their jobs to other countries and stuff. And I'm like, we need to fight for those jobs so that when our veterans come home, they actually have a challenging job that they can actually not only work at, but that will give them an income where they can actually purchase a house, buy a car, take care of a family. I have two sons that have been diagnosed into the autism spectrum. And there's a new US government study that's just come out that shows us that one in 40 of our children are gonna be in that spectrum. In the coming years, you're gonna have over a million autistic kids turning 18. Where are they gonna work? I look at my oldest son, Tyson, who was diagnosed with Asperger's and, and now he makes rocket parts and he does tutorials. Like manufacturing saved my life and it also saved his life and gave him purpose and gave him a real job that he could thrive at. And when you look at the news, you know, you look at Chicago, I mean, over the weekend, you just had killings widespread, right? All our major cities, like what is going on? There's just so many murders and so many bad things happening. If you actually dive in and look at the history of those cities, you'll actually see that big manufacturing plants actually left the cities. And then when there was a void and no good paying jobs, poverty set in and drugs set in and gangs set in. I talked to the leaders in Chicago and they're trying to bring big business in and it's not working. And of course it's not working. I mean, look at the environment. Nobody wants to come into that environment. And that's why I created the plan to build a massive Titans of CNC Academy to not only train up the workforce at scale, but to give a grand vision to the people that they could believe in. You guys saw what we did in San Quentin prison by building a school to flip rehabilitation on its head. For so many years and decades, they've had CNC shops, but these guys come out and they don't have the skills to actually get a job. They've basically been babysat. So I was just like, if we're going to teach CNC machining, then let's do it right. Wipe the slate clean. Let's bring curriculum that will actually teach them advanced skills so they can actually get real jobs and support their families, therefore breaking the chain so that they can go on to a better life, like I did. And then look at the next generation. A lot of people say like these kids, like they're spoiled, they don't understand things, blah, blah, blah. They want everything now. You know what? These kids are brilliant. They are brilliant and they think differently than you and I. But if you put them in your own box, what you can comprehend and you pop them in that box, they will rebel and you will lose them. We need to meet them where they're at with advanced manufacturing education, with what the academy brings. And we need to show them how to actually compete, how to actually make parts in a way that they can actually be a pillar in a company and solve big problems. Because these kids will grab a hold of it and they will take our industry to a whole nother level. Although there are a few countries out there that are very serious about manufacturing. China for one. You can dog China for a lot of things, but you cannot say that they're not serious about manufacturing. They're actually building an entire country off of manufacturing. So what I'm saying is that competition is healthy and we need to fight to bring work back to our country. And if you're in Australia or you're in the UK or Brazil, you need to fight to bring work back to your country so that you can make your own products and put food on your tables and have a healthy economy. If we continue to fight to bring those jobs back, all of a sudden there is no skills gap and through complete dedication to their craft, they will not only thrive in business and in life, but they will rise to greatness. I wanna thank you for tuning in to the number one CAD, CAM, and CNC educational YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel because we're putting up videos on a daily basis. And make sure that you like the videos. Also, I'm not only reading those comments, but I'm actually creating vlogs off of them answering your questions. 
And if you were inspired by this video, please share it so we can bring awareness to our trade.